Hi, I'm Jimmy. Um, I am currently a caretaker for an 85-year-old Holocaust survivor with Parkinson's disease. Um, so far, this is my the best job I've ever had. I absolutely love it. Um, the two of us share a love for dancing and music, so the majority of our day, he's either singing to me while I'm cooking or we're dancing and listening to music. Um, I am pretty unconventional, uh, creative, open-minded, down-to-earth, dirty hippie you've ever met in your life. <laughs> I enjoy anything outside, really. I love riding my bike, camping, canoeing, kayaking, hiking, climbing, rappelling. I will jump out of a plane. I always have my camping gear ready on hand. I have some pretty good carpentry skills. Um, I garden. I went to Job Corps for a few years. Uh, that was where I learned carpentry. And I helped rebuild the Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now I've put more interest into building earth ships. It's a uh, radically sustainable building. Uh, it's an awesome thing. Fine. Tell me how the world's going to end. Um, I don't think the world's necessarily going to end. I do think there is going to be some kind of disaster, um, whether it be nuclear explosions and mutants, um, government collapse, widespread anarchy, um, whatever it is, it's going to be bad. We're definitely going to have to fight to survive. Um, if it went down, I think I would... I. I always have a bag ready. Um, I like to camp a lot. It's always packed and ready to go. Every time I go, I try to take less gear with me and see what I can do without this time. I feel I'm a fairly decent gardener. I've been exploring that over the past few years with my own vegetable, fruits and vegetable gardens. Um, I have awesome building skills. I can fish. Um, just starting to get into shooting. I have not yet attempted to hunt. I'm not against it. I, I know that once I can learn to hit the target, I have no issues cutting the animal open and <laughs> eating it. That's what I have to do to survive. Um, the current job that I have, actually, I prepare almost every meal for them. I love to cook. I've worked at a few restaurants over the years. I experiment with things at home all the time. Um, Whenever I go camping on trips, everybody I've always cooked for everybody that I've gone with and had many compliments. I, I can cook anything that I can cook in a kitchen, I can cook over a fire. Family, I, I have a pretty large family. Um, we're all very different from each other, um, all very hard-headed, strong minds. I'm competing for my dad. Um, I gave him a lot of hell growing up. And he had to struggle a lot to raise all of us. There was five of us. So I'm going to go out and struggle for him. I'm a fairly competitive person. Um, usually not so much with other people, more myself. Um, like, uh, for instance, every time I, I ride my bike or climb a mountain, I'm always pushing myself to go a little farther than I did the time before looking for a bigger mountain. Um, when I go camping, um, I actually believe this time I'm going to go without a tent. I'm trying to do with less. Um, no sleeping bag, for sure. Those weigh a ton. Um, I think I want to go out and try to build my own shelter the next time. I'm going to try a new method of fire starting this time. I think I'm going to narrow it down to just taking a magnesium stick with me. Uh, you know, when I first started off, I actually used to bring my own wood with me and then went to just picking up dead wood and then it went to lighter fluid and cotton balls with Vaseline and yeah, I want to try the magnesium stick this time. <laughs> I think it would be an awesome experience um, doing this, whether we win or not. Um, I am, I'm an adventurous person. Um, I'm always up for something new, and I think it'll definitely be great training for whatever may really happen. You're going to survive, right? Definitely. I'm definitely going to survive. 
and I would do anything in my power to help all the other people survive too. If I feel that somebody else is more fit for the job to be leader, I will step down and allow them to do that. Uh, if, if they're doing a bad job and they suck, I'll usually trail off and do my own thing. I'll figure out how to do it on my own. The world is going to end, or come close to it. But we're going to need a place to hide. I need a place to hide my family, uh, the elderly and the weaker people, um, and a place for me to come rest after I'm fighting off zombies or mutants. We are going to be the last family.